Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Jacobs. Today, y'all, I'm gonna do um some beef ribs and beef tips. I'm just gonna kind of mix them together or whatever the case may be. And we're gonna do them in some brown gravy. So if you want to see how that goes, then stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I'm big. Basically, um, whatever beef meat you have, you can use. So if you only want to get the beef ribs, you could do that. If you only want to get the beef stew uh, meat or beef tips, um, as I call them and my mama calls them, then you could do that. Um, it doesn't matter. In my case, I'm going to mix them. Sometimes I do the oxtails and the beef ribs together or whatever, but you really can do it however it is that you want to do it, okay? So, right now, all we're going to do is season. I have, like, some cleaned meat. You know, I've washed my meat off and cleaned it. Um, got all of the excess fat off of my bones. Um, I do leave a little bit of fat on there just for the flavoring, but I don't like too much of that, Okay. Um, all together, this is about five pounds of beef uh, tips and then two packages of the beef ribs. It's like, let's see, like about two pounds each. So, Lord, it looks like we got a lot of meat. Okay, so like about almost 10 pounds worth of beef, it looks like. <laughs> okay, so let's put some seasoning on it. First things first is I have some Worcestershire sauce or some W sauce. I'm just gonna pour that on there. Um, that's about, about two tablespoons, y'all. Okay, here's some seasoned salt, Lowry seasoned salt. And you know what, listen, let me put my beef, let me put my beef, uh, let me put that outlet in there too with it so it can, I can just mix it all up together, y'all. Well, you know what? No, I'm just going to put it over here. That extra. Okay. I was just putting a little worse size sauce on there. Okay, yeah. So, we're going to put, um, we're going to sprinkle it with the Tony's. I'm sorry. Yeah, with the, I'm talking about Tony's. With the um, seasoned salt. I got a little bit of thyme. We're going to put some thyme in there. Okay. Um, all of these measurements are probably going to be about a tablespoon, you guys. And then just depending upon how much meat you have, after you mix it all up, if you feel like it needs more, then go ahead and add a little bit more. But you need to generous, generously season your meat, okay? This is some um, garlic powder. Hold on, Papa, can you open this one, please? That's too tight, y'all. All right, here's some black pepper. So that's that, and then my garlic powder. Y'all know we love garlic powder, so I'm gonna put extra garlic powder on there. But um, basically, you're gonna season it all up. Let me season everything up and get it all massaged in there, and then we'll come right back. Okay, y'all, I am back, uh, and I have seasoned all of the meat. Um, the only thing I'm about to do is just brown the turk, the uh, beef ribs. I'm not gonna brown the stew meat. Um, but I did graciously season the beef ribs, okay? You need to season it on all sides, mix it all up good together and season it, okay? You need to season the beef. All right, now, what seasonings did I use? You can use what, I told you guys what seasoning I use, but you can use whatever seasonings that you want. I'm also going to add a Lipton onion uh, soup mix when I get ready to, uh, um, you know, add the water and everything into here, but when we get there, I'll let you know. Now, in here, I just covered my pan, the bottom of my pan, with some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and about three tablespoons of unsalted butter. All right, and all we're going to do is we're going to brown these beef uh, ribs really quick. You're not going to cook them all the way through. You're probably going to brown them brown about three, three or four minutes on each side. I'm gonna put mine with the fatty side down. Okay, so the fat, that versus this side with the bone. But the fatty side, I'm gonna put mine down. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook that for about, like I said, three or four minutes on each side, maybe two or three, but no more than four minutes on each side. 
we just want to get a nice little brown on them okay um if you were doing straight beef tips um or stew meat then you wouldn't have to brown it at all you actually could just dump everything off in a pan and by the time they finish cooking y'all trust and believe uh it looks like i'm gonna have to do two batches of this okay uh trust and believe it'll be done okay so um we're going to uh brown that for about like i said three or four minutes and then i'll be right back when it's time to flip over all right y'all so it's been about three minutes three minutes should be good let's look at it oh yeah oh that's perfect y'all okay so we're gonna just flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side like i said you're not trying to cook them all uh all the way through you just want to get a little brown on these just because you know for a little color aspect okay now if you was being lazy and you just wanted to throw it all in the pot you absolutely could do that y'all you don't have to brown it okay now it does kind of lock in the flavor a little bit and stuff like that uh so i love to brown my stuff a little bit if i can just to lock that flavor in that i uh with the seasonings i added but you definitely don't have to do it especially if you don't have the time you can throw all this stuff in there um like i'm about to do after i finish that throw everything in here put your veggies your, your seasonings and everything and let it rock and roll until you're ready to thicken it up to make the gravy um and be done with it y'all it's, it's super duper easy but yeah um, i'm gonna come back in about a couple of minutes and then we'll take these off and put the last batch in and then i'll show you guys the last step the next step all right y'all let's talk about we are back um, let's put the one that we did, we're going to put it in this one, just a, a regular bowl, y'all. I'm just going to set it off to the side, and we're going to do that last step. Yeah, those are, those are beautiful. Can y'all see that? Hopefully so, yeah. All right, so we're going to just sit those over to the side. Let me turn these over to the side on this side a little bit while I'm doing that. But yeah, they look really good. Okay, let's put these over here. Now don't worry about that fun at the bottom of the pan, you know that's flavor. You know we're gonna get that up with the veggies, so don't even sweat that. Let's put the last three that we have in here really quick and get these to fry. And then I will come back when everything is all done to show you guys the next step. Okay? Alright y'all, so these are the last of the um, beef ribs. We're gonna take those out and put those over here on the side to rest. We still have that fun down at the bottom of the pan. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our veggies and saute those up. I got one whole uh, large yellow onion. Uh, we're going to do that whole thing. I have one green bell pepper and then one red bell pepper. And I'm going to do that whole thing. All right, now, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to use um, a red and a green. If you only have green or if you only have red, you can use either one of those, okay? Um, I just use one red and one green, honestly, for the color, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to just move your veggies around at the bottom of that pan, and that will... Um, that will actually pick up that pan that's at the bottom of your your uh, pot, okay? And then all of that flavor is going to be in your uh, vegetables, okay? From the frying of that meat and the seasoning and things of that nature. So we're going to saute this down. Now, my fire is on a medium now. When I was frying the, the um, beef, it was kind of between the medium and the high. Okay, but I'm turning it back down to like more so medium to saute these up. We're going to saute these for about three minutes or so um, before we add the garlic in it. Um, just to cook it down just a little bit, okay? 
So I'm gonna come back in about uh, two or three minutes when that's cooked down. Just kind of stir it around a little bit. You just kind of want those veggies not to be too crunchy. But remember, they're gonna um, cook more when they boil in there. So you don't have to over saute them. So two or three minutes should be fine. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so we finally got a little boil and bubble bubble on this little uh, thing here. I can turn my heat down, turn it between the medium and the high. I had it all the way up on the high. Um, I got one pack of Lipton onion soup mix. Okay, I'm going to pour that in there. Okay, y'all, and then we're going to just kind of stir it in there. Now, um, when you're doing your stirring, don't do too much. Just make sure you just kind of get it all incorporated in there. But for the most part, your beef ribs, especially if you're cooking the beef ribs uh, like we are, make sure you keep those submerged into the water, okay? If, if they're peeking up like this, no. You need them to be down off into the water, okay? Because that's what's going to take the longest to uh, cook. All right, so if they're submerged in the water, then they'll be cooking the whole time, all right? Now, we got that boiler going. Like I said, raise your heat i mean i'm sorry lower your heat between the medium and the low i'm sorry medium and the high okay and then we're gonna set our timer for 60 minutes or one hour and then we're gonna come back and we'll see how it is uh in an hour it's not gonna be ready in an hour y'all it's gonna take about two hours two and a half hours to cook or so so uh but we just want to see where we are with the um uh, liquid in the in the thing and all that stuff like that um, and so if we need to add more water, we will, we'll taste it at that point at the one hour mark, we'll taste the juice and we'll see it, where we are. If we need any more seasonings, if we don't, then we should be okay to keep going. If we do, then we'll add them at that particular time. All right. So we're going to cover it. Um, I'm actually going to leave a little vent in mine, um, because I don't have that little air hole. Okay. Um, and I don't want my top to start bubbling all, all off. So I'm going to leave a little air vent in mine. All right. And we're going to cook it for 60 seconds, y'all. I mean, 60 minutes. And then I'll see you guys back then. All right, y'all. This has been like an hour. My timer just went off. This is pretty much where we are. Uh, I did take a minute to taste my flavoring. Um, and it tastes like to me that I need a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna put like um, a teaspoon of salt in there. Okay, uh, I'm also gonna put a little bit of this Tony Saturi in there too. And then I'm gonna put some accent in there. It looks like I need to open up this accent, but we're gonna put like a, a teaspoon of each one of those things in there. Just taste it. Make sure it's giving you whatever it is that you want it to be giving you. Um, and if it is, then you're gonna be good to go. If it's not, then you know, adjust your flavors and add whatever extra stuff that you need to add to it. Um, but this is gonna need to cook some more. It's only been cooking for one hour. The gravy seems like that it's okay. Um, I hope that you've been stirring this from back and forth um, during the whole hour. If you haven't, make sure that you are stirring your stuff. Um, let me get a fork and I'll show you guys that the beef is not ready. What we're looking for is for it to tear apart, okay? And you see right now that when I turn it, it's not doing it yet. Once it is ready, it will, uh, as soon as I stick it in there, it'll be able to tear apart, okay? So it's getting there. So we're going to make sure we turn that meat down into the the um the water y'all okay now my gravy seems like it's okay with the thickness and everything it doesn't seem like it needs to get any thicker it will thicken up more as we cook it but right now i don't feel like it's too thick or anything like that or that any water needs to be added if you're here at this mark though and you do feel like you need to add some water like your stuff is a little bit too thick or you put too much um flour in it then just add some water now and thin it out and then you could just cover it back up and let it cook back down okay but for me um i think that the eight cups that i put in there should is really going to be okay because you do kind of want it to cook down into the gravy 
into a gravy, a thick gravy, you don't really want it to be uh, too runny, all right? Just remember that your meat is needs to be down off into the thing, okay? And some of these uh, will come off when it's, when it's done, you're, you'll be able to slide that bone off of there too. So it's gonna be just straight meat. You're not gonna even have to deal with any bones um, by the time all this is done. All right, so we're gonna cook this for another, I'm gonna say hour and a half. Um, and then you can, if you're gonna do some sides, you can start doing your sides now. Um, I'm gonna put my potatoes on the boil so I can get my potatoes to going. But we're gonna cook this for another uh, hour and a half or so, and then we'll come back um, and it probably will be done by then, all right? So I'll see you guys when when we're to that point. Hey, y'all. Hey, I am back. Um, it has been the hour and 30 minutes that I told you guys. Um, I actually, it's only been like an hour and 29 minutes, actually, because I went ahead and cut it off. My stuff is already falling about off the bone. Um, as you can see, the meat is tender. Um, so it took about uh two and a half hours for this you guys and um it's tender okay let me show you guys the gravy we're gonna put this over some rice i mean i'm sorry not rice um mashed potato Okay, yeah, I had to wash my spoon off. But yeah, this is the uh, meat that's already in there. That's already was falling off the bones. Those are the, you know, the beef uh, tips that were in there. Remember I told you that by the time it gets ready, you will be able to just take the bones out. I did go through and take the bones out. Um, there are a couple of ones that are still stuck in there. But of course, you guys can see that they can just slide right out. That lets you know that they are ready. Okay, um, but here's the gravy. All right, so y'all can see that it's thick. So everything um, came together like it needed to, okay? Just please remember to make sure that you're stirring your stuff. Don't let your gravy um, stick to the bottom, all right? I had to run to the store and thank God I came back just in time and headed down on that low because uh, it had started trying to get thick. And I definitely didn't want it to burn or scorch at the end. All right, so that is it, and that is all for this particular one. I will do a final video plate up when we get done with everything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Cooking with the Jack Cooks. Okay, y'all, we are back, and this is the final plate up for my husband um, with the size and everything on there. But these, these are the beef tips and the beef ribs. Okay, they don't have any bones in there. And as you can see, it's going to be plenty, plenty meaty over the um, potatoes that we were going to do. The mashed potato, garlic mashed potatoes. These are Brussels sprouts and that is jalapeno cornbread. All right, y'all. Until next time, cooking with the Jacobs.